Hi, I'm Niels, and that's Sir Walter. Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to another episode here on the Hard Light of Walter the Dog YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a little drive from our home in Wells down to Krems Ursprung. Roughly translated, it is the start of the Krems River. This was the week that my father visited town and we had a car available so we took advantage of that. We only did one trip, you'll see this drive video a second time in the next video as well, where we look at a different hiking location. But this was a great opportunity to kind of do a little trip and explore the surroundings of our new home. The route we're taking here is we briefly got on the Interstate 825 and now we're making our way down the 88 towards a nine to the mountains to the alps more specifically we are gonna get off around kirchdorf an der krems and then we'll make our way through kirchdorf an der krems and micheldorf in oberösterreich to make our destination krems ursprung i'll let this video run for a little bit until we get to our destination and then i'll explain and tell a little bit more about where we at and what we're going to be doing. destination and again like in the previous videos here as well some of it will be more dark backsides and not too much landscape focused as i'm still learning how to best hold attach and work this gopro camera this year the bridge going across is the location of 
the Krems River. The Krems itself is about 60 kilometers in length. We'll reach the town near uh, Linz. Krems Ursprung itself is a extremely interesting area for hiking. There's tons of hiking trails in this area here and we decided to go here in part because there were so many great opportunities. Across the bridge here there was sort of a trail but it was extremely slippery, difficult to get up to. My dad not being the youngest, the kid not even three yet, plus the two dogs, we decided not to take that trail, but just to go up here a little bit and then take one of the forest dirt roads up the mountain. We did not quite know what we were getting ourselves into here. Admittedly, we did have sufficient water, food, and everything along, so we're, we're not taking a major risk, obviously. But again, as I say, we're not quite aware of the high elevation that we're going to be overcoming here and some of the weirdness of the terrain that we're going to be facing. The area is part of the northern Kalkalpen as they are called Chalk Alps. As you get as a sense here, despite my camera movement, this is a steep climb. And as the camera pans to the side, you get a good sense of how being close to the edge, what kind of a drop we have on the side. It's not a cliff, obviously, but it's it's neither a place where you want to stumble and go over. It is it's quite a ways down where the river is. We had saw that this actually would be a possibility to go alongside the river. That would be great, would have been great for the dogs. Get down into the water on occasion, swim a little bit, get wet. But as we were climbing this road, it got less and less um, chance. And the river was further and further down and we were just keep going up. So it, it was beautiful. So it was a warm day, but the trees gave good cover. The, the air was clear, it it was nice. It got it got a bit warm as we were making this climb and we definitely were all out of breath, um, needing to take breaks as we are ascending here. There are a few more interesting parts, so I'll let it roll for a few minutes here again and then I'll check back in with you.
So this is where things get a bit more crazy on our on our journey. We've got my son here in front. Um, Walter is in front of him. They're kind of <laughs> changing places back and forth. And you're going to see in a minute here as we're going up. This will be the way up towards the forest road. That things are getting steep. You see my wife up there. You can't even tell. I let go of Walter here and let him up to my wife because uh, we were almost on our fours because it was so steep. I was carrying my son. It was crazy that last, last few minutes stretch. But once you were up there, the view here is extraordinary. Um, you're looking at these mountains, these cliffs up there, and you get a great sense of fulfillment being up all that way. We didn't even go that far, honestly. We were exhausted. We had barely been in Ulster for my wife. We're, we're tired with all the things we had to do. So it it was quite a quite an adventure. So these forest roads are definitely used. You can definitely tell that there's tire mark. And here in a minute, we are actually going to meet a car. Look at that. There's a car coming towards us. And he is going pretty fast. Like it may not look like that in the video, but he was going pretty fast up that hill. Obviously you want to keep your momentum going, but he acted almost like there is never anyone walking in this area and kind of we were like, whoa, where are you going, man? Nothing happened, obviously. No one got injured here or anything, but it definitely falls into the category of the people that come here on a regular basis who are just not thinking about, like, ooh, I need to be cautious. Again, but 
here is a little rewarding. It's a beautiful view, so you have, it's, again, it's incredible what you have in this park. We did encounter on two occasions, guys, with mountain bikes, and this one going downhill, and later on, you know, see somebody coming through who was going uphill. The guy going uphill, he was not that far yet on the road. He looked tired. He looked exhausted. He was sweating, red face and everything. But I get it. You know, you're going up. Um, it's hard work making that trip up that hill, but you got a great ride down. You don't need to um, do much paddling. So I definitely see why people like the downhill rather than the uphill in this case. We got one more great view here coming up, and that's one of our last views. And we're gonna dip down into the forest and down to back to the Krems Ursprung area. And as you walk up to this spot overview, it's like you you get up there and you kind of get this beautiful view down towards the valley, down towards uh, Kirchdorf an der Krems, and it's just it's incredible. And at this stage, we are making our way quickly back down the mountain. 
towards our car and Krems Ursprung. Obviously the dogs are gonna take a quick swim, bath, cool off, get something to drink here in the river. It is ice cold water by the way, really cold on a hot day. It's wonderful. Again, apologies about some of the camera work here. I'm still on the learning curve and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like and subscribe to our channel and we'll be back soon with another video of our excursion here to Krems Ursprung.